Yeah, I should probably do something about that background. All right, so let's say you've got a slides presentation that you want students to go through prior to a lesson or it's part of an asynchronous resource that you have set up. But what you'd like to do is to actually do a screencast recording uh, of you going through the presentation and explaining all the different points that are in there. But you want that nice little feature of the little webcam down in the bottom corner uh, of you talking to them as well. Well, here's how you can do that. Okay, so before we get too far into it, one thing I'll need to show you is how to set your slide presentation up so that down in this corner here where your webcam is going to show up, we want to make sure that any content that you have in your slideshow isn't going to cover that up. We're going to do that by using something called guides. Now guides are uh, basically lines that show up in the design view and help you lay the information out on your slide. But when you do your presentation, they don't actually show up. Now for this, I'm going to assume that you're using the default size for a Google Slides presentation, which is this widescreen 16 to nine. If you change the setup for your presentation, Unfortunately, the measurements I'm going to give you won't work, uh, but I can certainly help you out uh, in a different way if, um, if you need to, to set that up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to View, and we're going to come down to Guides, and we're going to edit the guides because I've gone and figured this out, and I know where they need to be. So we're going to add a new guide under my vertical option there, I'm going to make that 21 centimeters and I'm going to set that to black. And then I'm going to switch over here to horizontal, add a new guide, and I'm going to make that 10 and make that black. And I'm going to go done. All right, so these lines are the ones that I'm talking about. When you actually do your presentation, they don't show up. But when you're designing the layout of your slide, it indicates that this area down here needs to have no content on it. Now, just to illustrate that, when I start showing you the screen recording side of things, I'm going to pop in a couple of shapes. So I'm going to put one here just to show it's sitting outside of the webcam. And then on this page, I'll pop one in like this to show that the webcam is going to cover it up. All right, so we've got our presentation set up. We're ready to talk through our presentation and explain the points on the page uh, to kids or to, or to students and to um, give some more explanation and so forth. And they'll be able to see your happy smiling face talking away at them down in this bottom right hand corner. All right, so what you need to do then is come to Screencastify. All right, there we go. And for this, you're going to need to use the option for the browser tab. You'll need to make sure that you've got your webcam turned on. You might like to think about changing the countdown time just to give you a bit more extra time to set your presentation up before the screen recording actually happens. Once you've got those options set, we're going to hit record. And then straight after we hit record, we need to jump straight into our presentation and get that set up ready to go. So I'm going to hit the record button. We're going to come here to present. Now I need to make sure that I'm on the first slide. So it goes from the first slide, come on. So first slide, and then I'm going to make sure this time, rather than just using the present button, I'm actually going to click on this arrow here and I'm going to use present to view. So I'm going to click that. And this would normally be if you've got two screens, like a projector screen, and your laptop screen. We don't need this presenter view part. We're just gonna minimize that and get that out of the way. All right, so we can see here, here's the first page of my presentation. Here's my webcam down in the bottom corner. And you can see, here's the square. Remember I showed you when I lined it up with the guides, it's off the top of the 
webcam view. If I go to the next slide, there we go, see, it's sitting underneath the webcam. So if you have part of a picture or some text, kids aren't actually going to see that. Okay, you've got a couple of options. So if you wanted to sort of pop out of your presentation and go to full screen mode with your webcam, you can go ahead and sort of pop out and then pop back down to your webcam if you need to. If for any reason you need to flip the camera, that's this one here, so it sort of changes the, the way it's flipping around. So if you're having trouble with your text not showing up properly, if you hold up a document, you might need to use that option there. All right, when you're done with your presentation, obviously we're just going to go and stop the recording. All right, uh, I'll just pop this out into full screen mode. There we go. And so we can see that... Right, so this is obviously the first part where we were setting up. There's our presentation there. So you would toggle back and forth and use your cut or your trim option to sort of work out where it needs to start. Why? And there we go. So, you know, there's where it started with the, the webcam kicking in. So this, when you save your... When you, when you save your uh, screencast, this is what the students will see. And then you can save your trim. Yeah, we'll go, sure. All right. Making sure that once that's done, we have also changed our change the file name and then you've got your sharing options that we've talked about before that you'll need to use to share the link to the video with your students okay if you get stuck on any of that give us a hoy and uh, I'll give you a hand no dramas later